Hello, kindreds. Welcome to Reverend Patty's Inspiration Station podcast. Our topic this week is Living Stones. As living stones, we are not to be aghast by what is said to us by another. Change begins with a firm foundation in Christ. Jesus said, Anyone who listens to my teaching and follows it is wise. Like a person who prepares the base of one's holy life with solid rock instead of sand. When rain pours down, the rivers flood, and the wind blows hard against your house but it will not fall because it is built on rock. Matthew seven twenty four. What did Jesus say to Peter? On this rock I will build up my church, my people. Church means people. We are part of that rock. We are part of the foundation. We are living stones. Jesus' ministry was never about a building. It was always about people. A while back, I was given a message that I want to share with you today. Remember the vision you had of traveling up the side of the mountain. You had dirt and stones beneath your feet as you made your way to the top. You stumbled on the way up the hillside, and it hurt when your feet hit the stones. It was the same for those saints and helpers who came before you. They too stumbled and fell, but got back up on their feet again. The destination is one of victory, but the journey is never easy. You are being called out to come forth plain and simple. Blessed are the people who know the joyful shout. They will walk in the light of your presence, Adonai. Psalm 89 First, find out what is impeding your journey. Be sure to dig up roots and cut any ties that bind you, that lie within, and shake out any excess debris. Rebuke it, let it flow back from whence it came. This is not where God wants you or me. This is the time to go very deep into one's spirit, entering the silence, the safety of God's presence. It is the merging of the soul and the spirit in agreement as one on the same playing field. Keep building yourself up in prayer and use the scripture references for encouragement. God wants us front and center, shining in places where there is no light. Even if someone rejects you as they did Jesus in his time, we are to keep his light, the light of the risen one, shining for all to see. Jesus' friends, those who traveled with him, drank water from the same spiritual rock, the same cornerstone that is the hope of our foundation, Christ himself, and we can do the same. I know this is a lot to digest. Don't forget to breathe. Need more? You can subscribe to Reverend Patty's Inspiration Station podcast or blog to keep up with the latest messages. Visit sacredwalkhome.com for more information. Until next time, kindreds, be blessed. Amen.